Welcome back. The one and only Rick James has left behind an incredible legacy, and now his life story will be shared on stage. A show about his life is coming to the Hobby Center right here in Houston called Super Freak the Rick James Story. Tickets are on sale now at rickjamessuperfreaklive.com. Performances are scheduled for March 14th through the 17th. Joining us to talk about it, playwright and producer Jacarius Johnson and Ty James, who is Rick James daughter welcome to the factory glad to have you here how difficult was it for you Ty to trust someone with your father's legacy that's always difficult it's very difficult um, I'm a daddy's girl to the heart so through and through it's just important for me to deliver something that I know he would be proud of and so when Jacarius approached me with the opportunity and his passion and the genius that he possesses it just it made sense. I knew it would be magic. And, and Jacarius, what made you pick Rick James? Obviously, a legend, a superstar. He's a bad motherfucker, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bad Shut your motherfucker. Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, he's great. He's great. Um, a legend, and just uh, it was so much that I learned about him that no one really knew. Everybody thinks it's just kind of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, mm -hmm. but there's a whole other side to this guy that people are going to discover in this play. You know, who he was as a young artist, his inspiration, and how he came up with the alter ego mm -hmm. of Rick James. So it's just a fascinating story. And so we have have Stokely who's playing Rick James for Mint Condition yeah. in this. So did you have to say, let me check your voice out? Because my father had quite a range. He was, oh, you know, R&B singer, rock star, and a hell of a crooner. Yeah. You know, yes. one of the last big crooners to come out of Motown. We can remember Fire and Desire, mm -hmm. Ebony Eyes, where you yes. hear the br the bravado. The, what, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> you made it. And Stokely arrived. And he arrived. Out of the blue. <laughs> so uh, we were talking about the range of Rick James' voice. Are you ready for that work? Absolutely. I grew up listening to it. Grew up studying it. Absolutely. And so when they when you got the call saying, Stokely, you will be Rick James, what was that like? Amazing. I mean, it was kind of surreal because, again, I grew up listening to him roller skating, you know, in school, listening and just really, you know, he has the same, um, a lot of the same people that he listened to. Mm -hmm. We listened to in the, in the neighborhood. So, you know, I can hear like it's, he has the inflections of like the OJ's Eddie Levert. You know, he's got this mm -hmm. really strong masculine voice that he a puts, well trained you know, voice. well yeah. trained you know, yeah. and he got this kind of operatic thing too that goes mm -hmm. into it just amazing just blows everybody away so mm -hmm. i've always been attracted to that and just you and know, you were yeah. never nervous and we know you are an rb and star on your mm -hmm. own right but you were never nervous about approaching this um, for different reasons, you know. <laughs> there, 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 there's some big shoes. Yeah. <laughs> there's some big shoes, you know. There, there's some big boots, right? Big boots. Absolutely. So. And, and Jacarius, what can people expect in the stage play? Are we going through stages of his life, just one part of his life? What can we expect? Uh, the whole gamut from front to back. I mean, it's just so much you, you don't know about him. I mean, you mentioned Motown. Well, you know, uh, honestly, if... Without Rick doing some of the things that he did and some of the conflicts that he had, there'd be no Lionel Richie, right? <laughs> you know, Prince getting his style from Rick James, yeah, you know, absolutely. like so you're gonna get the, you're gonna get everything, all the inside scoop, the behind yes. the scenes things that was going on because we got it, we got it right here from the from the family, yeah. right? And you're the absolutely. consultant on the scene. Have you seen any rehearsals that made you tear up or like, that's my dad? Oh gosh, so crazy that you asked that because there have been a number of times that I've just had to leave the room because just overwhelmed with emotion. Um, it's it's touching. It's deep. Um, the depth is like it's like a roller coaster, you know. So and most importantly, that are you means proud? they're doing an amazing job. <laughs> And most importantly for you, are you proud of what they have oh, created? I'm so proud, and, and it's an honor just to be able to honor my dad in such a way. All right. Once again, for those who are interested in seeing the show, 
and we need Houstonians to get your asses out <laughs> and, and go Come see on. this. Let's go. Jacarius is a Houstonian. That's so right. tell us about the details really quick where you can get tickets and where the show will be again. Uh, the show is at the Hobby Center. It's March the 14th through the 17th. You can get tickets at Ticketmaster. You can go to superfreaklive.com. You can go to rickjameslive.com. So I want to see everybody out there. So all of Houston, come out. This is a hit. This is a special one, yes. and it's for everybody. All right, Stokely, we're going to look yes. for that performance. Right. It'll be great. Come on, out. Come on out. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor. Still ahead tonight.